Um, well, look, you don't need to. Guys, let's jump into our top story that captured hearts this weekend. Yeah, so the husky found neglected in a balcony was rescued by Dubai Municipality. Now, the husky found neglected in a balcony was uh, rescued by Dubai Municipality on Sunday. Now, the stray dog center shared a video of a husky on a balcony with no water in sight and in 40 degree heat. And now, right now, it's too hot to even touch the ground with your bare feet. So imagine uh, what it would be like for a dog, that to a husky. And the center uh, shared an update with photos of the dog still on the balcony. And they captioned the post saying, we have volunteers on site. The owner is not opening the door. Authorities have been contacted, but the doggy remains outside on the balcony. So thankfully, uh, authorities were notified and volunteers um, got to the uh, location and were managed to Um, save the husky but unfortunately if you guys have been following us or following um, you know groups like stray dog centers this is not the first time it's happened uh, but luckily the husky has been rescued and is in safe hands uh, thanks to the collective efforts of stray dog center who brought the story to the public's attention uh, Donna Hale the Dubai municipality Dubai police and all who shared and liked the story so actually the reason this husky was saved is because of you guys sharing the story because that's how it got to the attention of Dubai municipality so thank you to everyone who made that post go viral. Honestly, and uh, the dog was kept on the balcony while the owners were out for an event, but thankfully he has been rescued now and is in safe hands, like Casey said. So please do not leave your pets outside in the scorching heat. It is a death sentence for them. And if you cannot treat your pets with compassion and humanity, please surrender them to a rescue group. And this was captioned by the Stray Dog Center so sternly. And like, honestly, like how neglectful of people, like it is boiling outside right now and to leave your pets just like that in the balcony like okay even leaving them with food and water is wrong but like nothing no water just out in the balcony like right under the sun it's i don't know like the worst thing to do to your pets and it's so scary because i think that when people people love the idea of having a dog people love the idea of having a pet but the reality of a situation is that like it's very tricky to have pets in apartments you have to you know fully swif- swivel your schedule so you're able to take care of them. So for example, yeah. um, you have to make sure you're able to do three walks a day. If you don't have a doggy flap to get allow your dog onto the balcony, mm. you need to be bringing them out for three walks a day. Yes, they need fresh air, but also it's roasting hot outside. And you can just do the ground test, like go outside yourself. And if you can't stand on the floor for more than 10 seconds, your dog can't. Yeah. They're, like their paws are not um, adjusted to the desert like the, like the little camels are. Camels are fine. Yeah. Dogs, not fine. Definitely. And uh, I mean, like I understand, like sometimes you get, uh, you know, not mindful, you forget like, okay, because you let your dogs go out in the balcony to, you know, do their toiletry business. And then sometimes you may forget to let them back inside. Like I, I get that, but like... You, human error can happen. Human, yeah, exactly. But. I mean, you just have, they're like babies. They're like babies. Your pets are your babies, so you have to be so careful. And that too, like if you're giving your pets to someone to take care uh, to take care of, of for the days, make sure that they are responsible people. Because I know that's happening a lot now. Like if I'm traveling for two days, you know, like people just give it to like uh, someone who would foster dogs for a day or two and then uh, take care of them and then give them back to you once you're back. So just make sure you're giving them to responsible people. And uh, so incidents like this don't happen. 100, 100%. And also, if you're one of these people touched by this story and also know that you're not able to foster or adopt a dog in need, do help uh, centers like Stray Dog Center um, just in terms of like uh, volunteering, giving your time or seeing how you can support because that is another way you can support the community. Let's jump into our next story. A scam 